Hi, I'm Mick Driftwood, filmmaker and Panasonic Lumix ambassador. I'd like to introduce you to Panasonic's new Lumix G camera, the GH5S, a supercharged version for videographers of the classic and award-winning Lumix GH5. The GH5 was clearly designed to be great at both photography and video and uses a 20.3 megapixel sensor, whereas the GH5S certainly excels at videography. Video resolutions require less pixels than photography, and this new 10.28 megapixel sensor design with bigger pixel size, nearly twice the size of the GH5's pixels, improves signal to noise ratio with calibration in the ISO sensitivities, especially at ISO 400 and ISO 2500. Filmmakers wanted the return of the multi-aspect sensor, an oversized sensor that gives the same diagonal field of view for all aspect ratios. No shift or crop. They wanted fluid panning control with greater rolling shutter suppression. And the GH5S is simply outstanding with virtually no skew under normal operation. Both cameras share the same color picture profiles, including V-Log and the HDR hybrid log gamma characteristic. So there's no problem matching these two in post-production. However, the GH5S now has a 14-bit sensor readout, meaning subsampling will be great even before it reaches the codec. There's also a new switchable 12-bit, 14-bit raw size photography mode, which time-lapse animation users will no doubt find very useful for even more color-rich picture tonality to add to their video edits. Multi-camera setups such as studio and event filmmakers in particular wanted quicker and more accurate ways of locking cameras and other audio production equipment in sync or jamming as we call it over time code. And we now have that thanks to a new time code port and adapter which you can put a BNC cable on and there you are connected up to our a time code um, master or other cameras and other audio equipment. So there's certainly some wonderful extras for videographers in the GH5S and in my next video, I'll be taking a deeper look whilst explaining the benefits. Thanks for watching.